Piaget was born in 1874 and uh, was first movement manufacturer for more than 50 years. Then in 1960, they built the second factory where we are here in Geneva. Since the beginning, Piaget was making very small movements or very thin movements to fit inside very designed watches. Technicity is at the service of aesthetics. For example, inside a movement, the way wheels are placed has to fulfill a design purpose. Piaget Polo started in 1979 and at this time it was the ultimate sport watch as it was a gold watch on a gold bracelet. In 2016 the collection was relaunched and has become a bit more wearable let's say because it is in stainless steel. Since the beginning, Piaget Polo was an ultra-thin watch since it has quartz movement that was the thinnest in the world at that time. And in today, it perpetuates this tradition with the 1200P that is the motor of the perpetual calendar and the 1200S1 that is the movement of the Polo skeleton. Piaget Polo was uh, very important for Piaget since it is the first watch that has a name of a collection. Piaget Polo has a very smart feature. When you want to lay down the watch, you just had to push the crown and the hand stops without losing the time it was. And when you come back and you want to bring back the watch, you re-push the crown and the hands will reset at the right time. So already at this time, there was this uh, smart sophistication inside this watch. Both my grandfathers were a watchmaker they had their own uh, little brand, so I was never very far from that small world. But my passion for watchmaking became uh, later when I study mechanics and I discover how watchmakers use that kind of mechanism. What connects me with Piaget is that passion for objects that are well thought and well done. I think not only the, the design, but the way it is manufactured and the way it is uh, conceived is very important. And this is what made the link between Piaget and me.